Hey, what's up guys? It's Isao here. And if you've been following the channel, you know that we used to shoot in this older space before that was a bit tight. And now we've moved into this slightly bigger 50 square feet space. This took a lot of time. It's why I haven't been posting as much. Yeah, of course, it took some time and investment from my pocket. And the vision I had for this place was something that, you know, I could film in while working and having fun and enjoying the content I make for you guys and be able to deliver consistently for you guys. So this is the beginning of that. Uh, I also made a video on my Instagram where I did a tour about the whole studio here. That's before I put anything inside here. This space is still a work in progress. So I'm open to your suggestions in the comments below after you smash that like button. In this video, I'll be doing a desk setup tour. Uh, I'll be doing a mini studio tour and I'll be showing you guys the progress we've made so far in this space and I'll be running it off with a Q and A. This video is brought to you by Western Digital, makers of very solid storage devices. And did you guys know that Western Digital owned SanDisk and even G Technology? Anyway, I have a lineup of six amazing storage devices that I'll be talking about in this video and we'll be giving away any any one of your choice so you stick around to the end of this video um, out of the six items that they wanted me to check out you get to win any one and i'll be picking from the comments so uh, to win you have to comment which one you want specifically and the reason you want it uh, also you can drop a like on this video let us know that you appreciate the effort we put in the videos and uh, again watch the entirety of this video i'll be talking about how i use them in my setup and also feel free to uh, share this video if you eventually enjoy it and as we always say without further ado let's get to the video first things first the chair i use it's certainly not a lot but it works it's not really a work chair more than it being a studio chair and i specifically chose this chair because of the height good sitting posture requires that your feet stays planted on the ground and this was sort of perfect for the measurement of my legs the chair i really want though the chair i'm trying to get is the Herman Miller Embody. I've I've heard and read great reviews about this chair, but guys, that thing costs $1,500, which is like 550,000 there. But it's not just any chair. The desk itself was custom created by a carpenter here in Lagos. Same with all the white furniture in the room, except the chairs as you see later. It's just a simple thick table that has four drawers and I'll leave a link to the person who made it in the description. With that out of the way though, um, now onto the desk itself. I'm going to start from left to right. Um, it's more of a multifunctional desk if you look at it. It's where I work, it's where I record, and it's where I work on what I record. To my left, I've got the Shure, 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 I'm not really sure, pun intended. Sure. Anyway, the Shure SM7B, and as I'm talking about this product, I'll have links to every one of them in the description of this video, so you can pick, um, you can pick them up, you can choose which one you want to buy. This is a very, very popular microphone among the podcasting community. A lot of big shows and big names use this mic and it's a dynamic cardioid microphone and you probably do not really care about what that means. I'm just kidding. Its specific use is for voiceovers, podcasting and that sort of thing. But I really like the way it sounds and I've been using it as my main microphone setup for live recordings like this, voiceovers. And this has been one of the best additions to my setup. Audio is very important and I love the sound quality of it. it I could easily see myself as a professional. Hello, hello, testing, testing. This is Beat 99.9 FM. Now your boy, if you saw you with a talk right now, um, we are live in Lagos traffic and there is a lot of traffic. Lagos traffic is the best place to be, you know, three hours in traffic. You can cook beans and whole families will eat and you will still not be in your destination. True story. This is your boy Fisaya. <laughs> anyway, I'm still planning on getting a proper shotgun mic like the Sennheiser MKH416, but again, it's quite expensive, so not yet. And guys, all of these products you can get online with the links in the description. If you stick around to the end in the Q&A section, I'll show you a tip on the best way to buy from Amazon and most US sites. Ship them to Nigeria and not break your bank or destroy your pocket. Funny enough, it was one of the questions in the Q&A. Okay, holding the microphone is the Rode PSA arm. It's very tough, it's made out of metal and it's spring-loaded. You can move it however you want. Um, now, still on the audio side of things, I do have what's called a cloud lifter. It's sort of a booster for your microphone and basically it reduces 
the background noise while giving loud and higher quality outputs. In my sort of studio tour, I mentioned that this space is soundproof because we added rock walls inside walls. And that way, because, you know, I'm in Nigeria and because this blessed country never has electricity, so I have to run on generators. This has made me spend all the money in my savings to soundproof this room so that you guys don't hear the generator noises yeah back to the point the cloud lifter will pick up sharper patterns from the audio and you know now and i don't get to hear generator noises in my video and you get a better experience everybody wins and also it runs into my audio interface that's the scarlett 2i2 usb audio interface the main job this has is to take audio from the microphone and supply it directly to my computer's door which is a digital audio workstation on my computer so it's just recorded there once and for all. The door I use is Ableton Live 10. I don't recommend you buy it if you're just starting. It's one of, it's, it's in my opinion, one of the highest end production tools for audio. And my audio is processed directly to the computer with compressions. I have nothing to worry about again. So um, if you want to see me do a video on how I record my audio step by step, you can let me know in the comments below. I think I might have some useful tips. However, you can use doors like Audacity for something like this as well. The Scarlett 2i2 is usually for musicians and shameless plug I also make music I like I produce sometimes and I also rap sometimes I have a SoundCloud now and I don't sing in the shower anymore I like to say I got ice on my neck but no man I got a turtleneck on my neck the sound start right flipping the script taking this hit song and right now turning it in over his head pause this is a time to show this is my time I'll say the things I know this is my time to track the sound I know. and still about uh sound a more recent addition to the setup are these Yamaha HS8 studio monitor speakers. These are high grade, high quality studio monitors. They are very good. Basically these speakers or these studio monitors are typically used by music producers again, or producers that give some priority to sound to hear a lot of the sound patterns from instruments they use in creating full productions. And I'll admit that when I started using this, not only to make music, but also to listen to music and also my own recordings, I started to hear a whole lot of things going on with the sound. I heard things I would never have heard with normal speakers. With how professional producers make their music and you know how we receive them. Long story short, it's phenomenal and I think it's the second most expensive thing on my desk. Uh, after my laptop i have the speakers on the stand right here because the sound is just so heavy putting it on your desk without any foam pads would rattle it and you won't enjoy it and of course i'm the worst at cable management but hey i just moved in here and it's still a work in progress with time we're gonna with time we're gonna cut everything out somehow somehow paired with the studio monitor i have a monitor headphone the audio technica m50x i've had it before and my brother sort of took ownership of the first one then i got them again audio technica is really a trusted brand when it comes to audio monitoring on headphones but a friend of mine who produces music really for like top musicians recommends some headphones from sennheiser specifically the sennheiser hd 800 or if you are on a budget or you're budget conscious the 660 um, would work as well they are open back headphones and they're a bit pricey but um they could be very good you know the brand name everything that has to do with audio you know the yamaha monitors the microphone the audio technicas all of them are channeled through the scarlett 2i2 interface and can be controlled you know volume up volume down right there and it's just interfacing with the computer on this desk we've got a dell monitor this is a 27 inch 2k resolution display paired with my macbook the 4 gigabyte radeon pro graphics card helps support the quality with it i've had it for over three years now i think and i've been trying to upgrade it but um it's it's long overdue which I, i've been trying to upgrade it but spoiler alert i do have something coming very soon in a couple of days or weeks maybe um so stick around for that it's a monitor this monitor is set upon a wooden frame i got from Junior global it took almost a month to ship down to nigeria and it feels okay it works you know and underneath that is where the audio interface the scarlet 2i2 is as you've seen fun fact is that all of this is powered by the macbook pro just sitting there like the boss that it is i'm still using the 2017 macbook pro with touch pad it's pretty old i'll leave a link to my review of this laptop in the description below because we only have usb-c ports throughout we've got to use dongles apart from the fact that i always have to keep the charger plugged in accessories i use a lot and plug to the macbook are one my hdmi display cable that goes into my computer plugged in via its own dongle to power up the monitor. I always have to back up my files, so my Western Digital Passport, four terabytes of storage is just enough for me. 
all my files are backed up safely and something i like about max is that when you set up the time machine you know i set my backup time to back up every hour and it has a lot of other commands that just takes over the whole process fun fact i've had the older four terabytes western digital on my passport hard drive as well and it's almost even full so that's a lot of files almost about like eight terabytes of files as if that wasn't enough western digital also threw in a one terabyte my passport hard drive still in the same line and if you're looking for something smaller that's the way to go one thing I also noticed about these Western Digital products is that they all come with two years of local warranty if you purchase it here and you know just look out for the stickers before you purchase. Another Sandisk product I use is the dual drive USB 3.0 flash that works for Android devices you know to your computer. I got the 128 gigabyte version this time but I had the 32 gigabyte version last year. I, I like the form factor it's small enough it's been pretty useful for transferring pictures uh, from my phone to like an external hard drive on my laptop it's essentially you know to transfer a lot of stuff and it's been useful not to feel neglected there's also a very similar product for the iphone or the apple ecosystem the iexpand flash drive also in 120 gigabytes it pretty much performs the same function as the dual drive just for the iphone and ipad and iPod touch, I don't discriminate. <laughs> and the benefits of the iExpand is that you even get to play back larger files right off that flash drive. The last two Western Digital hard drives I've got here are the Western Digital WD Green and the WD Black. They're for more technical based users who are building PCs. The WD Green is a 2.5 inch SSD and so far I've been looking at hard drives which um, spin apart from my SanDisk 1TB SSD which I'll get to in a bit. Basically SSDs are much faster, they don't have any any moving parts and this is, is, suit is suitable for laptops and desktops. The WD Green draws less power and makes working on your computer or your laptop especially much faster. Western Digital also makes a higher power WD Blue hard drive that you can check out. I'll leave a link to a pretty comprehensive video where you can you know watch the comparison between the green and the blue. Finally the 2 terabytes WD Black is also a higher end 3.5 inch 6 gigabits per second hard drive and even though on the sticker they didn't specify how many years of warranty you get on the box this has five years of warranty this is also you know good for pc building and you know based on the reviews it's pretty fast and i do want to test it out whenever i record footage i always dump it onto the computer and you know i use the sandisk sd card adapter for my mac the sandisk sd card and one thing i recently bought for myself was that one terabyte sandisk ssd it's pretty pricey i bought mine for around 80,000 000 error on jimia and it's one of the fastest hard drives i've used it has one of the highest ratings on amazon I highly, highly recommend. Both of them have been one of the older collections I've had on my desk. My dongle extension is from Anchor with quite the substantial USB ports. And I also have an Anchor wireless charger, which I almost never really use at this point. It's just, it just sits in pretty on my desk. Sometimes I use it to show off. And still on accessories, other accessories that aren't necessarily plugged in, but of course highly required are the main peripherals, the white Apple Magic Keyboard and the white Magic Mouse, both to match the setup and the Logitech MX Master 2S is one of the best mice you can pick up but Logitech has upgraded this to the um, MX Master 3 now I think and you know I might get it but this still works so if it doesn't broken don't fix it. Short story when I got started into computers and you know liking all the stuff I mostly majored in graphic design. I'll say this to anyone looking to do any computer work uh, I was super fortunate to receive this advice early get a fast mouse preferably a mouse with buttons to the side and increase the tracking speed to a near maximum until you're comfortable with it i have mine close to the highest and trust me you're going to cut down a lot of working time on projects if you have a fast mouse now to the q a segment of this video a lot of people that ask me questions were asking from instagram and facebook because those were the only places that i posted to so the first question is from facebook from kingsley he asks the s20 models in nigeria use um what soc system on chip qualcomm snapdragon a65 or samsung's exynos 990 well in nigeria we use exynos and exynos typically receives some flag for being lesser in quality than the snapdragon counterparts or the variant even apart from branding reasons alone it's just weird that they have to use the both of them i eventually have to test the both of them i have both s20s and you know i wish they both had snapdragons other than that i'll keep researching however to answer your question yes uk nigeria we get exynos and i know that the us gets qualcomm um benjamin from facebook says hi fisario are you an android person or an ios person 
um are you a windows person or a mac person give reasons well i am a both person and the reason is that i'm a tech reviewer and i'm looking to do more computer content even moving forward and you know we'll see how that goes but i am a both person <laughs> orobi asks is there any way someone can know if the phone he or she is buying is tampered or not original without even opening up its case or tampering with its seal this one is a bit um tough because it's something that i made a video about you know especially with regards to buying something like an iphone uh, i'll link that video in the description below as well mainly you know ask for warranty when you want to buy from someone and this is usually relative to where you're purchasing from if you can try to buy on sites like jumia where there's a return policy so the phone if the phone turns out fake you can prove it and return um, and get your money back don't go too cheap when you're looking to buy and always buy from authorized resellers. On Instagram, I was one of Olori Supergirl's students in January. One question I wanted to ask is, how do you split yourself into two in your videos? Well, I am I'm a triplet for real, you know. Um, I had to employ both of my brothers to work with me on that video. <laughs> well, okay, there are two ways of splitting at the basic level. They, however, all involve shooting the same scene multiple times. One way of cloning yourself is having the camera stay in one position and then filming it and then, you know, filming the second scene and joining them together through a process called masking. Now, in my case, I have camera robots that film for me. So this makes me do the same thing, only that my own has movement. It's not anything that you can achieve with like a regular tripod or something that is not motorized. Oluwa Toby Lover asks, hello Fisayo, I would like to I would like to ask your sincere opinions about buying a new laptop online, Best Buy or Amazon or Nigerian stores. Um, I've used services that have worked pretty well. I've used some services. However, most some of them are quite expensive um, with their shipping and handling. I not so recently started using ShareShop Ship and they are quite fast. They help me get stuff from Amazon and other US sites and they deliver in like one to two weeks. All you have to do is copy a link to something you want and send it to them. So, you know, I've made it easier by linking all the things I mentioned in the description of this video. So if there's anything, you can just copy the link and send it to them and uh, they'll take over that handling and shipping. They've been very reliable for me. Jumia is also another great example, especially Jumia Global conga as well but you know they're usually limited if you want a bit of control you can buy the item yourself in the u.s and send it to a u.s address and have it shipped to nigeria down to you shop to my dog offers this service they are more affordable however they are not usually fast in delivering and their customer service is a bit iffy for me um the last question why did you get a cat uh, have you always been a cat person yes i have a baby boy named aiden he's a total baller he just sleeps and eats chilling in life i envy him so much he's on instagram too at meet aiden he doesn't talk too much you know just just leave him alone <laughs> all right q a is done desk setup is done and as i said i'll do a quick tour of the space um that we've seen we've seen the desk already now onto the right side of the desk is sort of a tv stand i only have my printer on it right now but more things are coming um in the shelf below it there are three compartments for things like consoles uh, some accessories are also down there and i may or may not be doing a um, gaming monitor and building a pc i may i may or may not be beneath all that is a long shelf i specifically chose this kind because of the large equipment we be fitting in there there's a couch to the right which can serve as a shooting angle this studio space is also within the same lagos apartment with two amazing content creators tayo and films who made a video about the space i'll leave a link below and mohammed agbadi and we're also considering starting a podcast here as well and the other side is a white desk for another shooting angle b-rolls and everything in between and guys um for all the white furniture that we've done here except the chairs I'll have the pressings number linked in the description of this video. And that's all for the things on my desk and the tools I work with and the mini tour of the space. What was your favorite thing on the desk? I know my favorite thing is of course the Western digital storage and my HS8 monitors. Um, am I allowed to pick more than one thing? <laughs> anyway, comment below which one of the WD or Sandisk products you would love to win and you will get them right away. There'll be one winner that'll be selected in the comment section below. I'm also experimenting with giving away one phone a month, but you know, watch out for the next review. And guys, if you like the music I use in all my videos, I do get them from Musicbed. They're a great platform for getting super dope music from amazing artists for your videos um, here on YouTube. My link in the description helps you get 30 days free trial and get access to some of the very dope music that you can use. And depending on your channel, 
after that 30 day trial you can pay like nine dollars a month for subscription again link below for amazing music that i use you know that you can use and again if you found this video useful do drop a like and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when i drop a new video and yeah there's a lot more coming from this space uh, and i'm excited and i hope you are too thanks again i'll see you guys in the next one